Hello everyone, this is Mr. Mar with Beat Theory, and today I'm going to show you how to understand the concept of envelopes. So we saw that word uh, when we were looking at uh, WebSense before, um, so we need to understand what, what that means. Um, it's not made of paper, an envelope is how we shape sounds. Best way to understand it is to see it and hear it. So. I just opened up, I have that simple synthesizer in FL Studio again. Um, I opened up my envelope and uh, you can see this right here is an envelope. So an envelope changes how the sound moves over time. Uh, it can affect the volume. Um, this Mod X is actually a filter. Uh, I have it set for a low pass filter, LP is low pass. And it can also affect the pitch. So I'm going to dial in uh, some envelopes here so you can hear how that changes things. Um, one thing that's important to notice is that actually, when I press keys, you're going to see them light up here. Um, the envelope can change actually what happens when you let go of the key as well, although it doesn't quite work that way in WebSense. It's a little different. So let's turn on that envelope, and I'm going to start off with something simple here. So right now it uh, starts loud, gets a little quiet. Um, there, you can see all these different knobs here. We're not going to look at all of them, but we are going to look at this one here, ATT. And if you look up here, um, you can see that that says it is attack time. So the attack time is how long it takes for the sound to get to the loudest point that it's going to get. Um, right now, the second it starts, it's as loud as it's going to be. If I turn up the attack, or thinking the attack time, it takes a little longer. There's kind of a swell. Um, after that, we have the decay. So the decay decide, uh, determines how long it takes for the sound to get quiet. So I'm going to put on a long decay. After a while, the sound stops. If I didn't have the, de the decay on, um, the sound could really go on as long as I'm holding down the key. Um, if I make that decay really short, then it's a really short sound. And you can see kind of what that sounds like. It's a really short, kind of narrow sound. So you've got attack and decay. Um, decay doesn't always come up in, um, in web synths. What we see a lot, though, is sustain and release. So sustain in WebSense is either on or off. If sustain is on, then the sound is going to stay at the same volume and not uh, and not change. Um, and then the uh, whatever you have the release set to should affect the what happens when you let go of the keys. So I'm going to turn the release up here. So that's what the release is going to do if we have the sustain on. Um, it's it, When you lift your fingers off the keys, it's still going to ring. If I turn that sustain off, then the release doesn't happen. Um, but what does happen is when I'm holding down the key, it's going to lock into that decay knob. Um, and I'm going to show you how that works a little bit more specifically in WebSense. But just to review, we've got attack. Decay, sustain, release, ADSR. Those are the main um, elements of any envelope on a synthesizer. So let's jump into some examples. Um, I'm going to make an envelope with a filter. So that was a volume uh, envelope that I just made in WebSense. We call that an amplitude envelope. So let's make a filter envelope. Uh, this is going to control my filter here. So let's hear the sound on its own. And let's make a, a short kind of sound. 
So I'm gonna make one of these. All right, so that's not gonna turn on until I decide where the cutoff of our frequencies is gonna be. Right now it's letting all the sound through. I'm gonna lower that frequency to about here. And it makes a sound that starts very bright and very quickly gets uh, quiet. But I can also do um, some other examples. All right, um, works pretty much the same as volume. And uh, lastly, I'm gonna do a pitch envelope. So let's set that up. Turn off my filter here. And let's see what happens. Yeah, so with a long decay, the the um, the pitch envelope is pretty crazy. Um, when I have a really short decay, it just adds a little pew on the beginning of it. Um, so let's take a look at what that is going to look like in WebSense. Exit out of this and open up WebSense. So we're gonna. Um, just keep this quick. Blank canvas. Um, I'm clicking things that I shouldn't, but it's okay, because I can fix it. All right, here we go. So I've got my oscillator one here. I'm gonna set that to a sawtooth wave. Um, and I'm gonna throw on a little uh, amplitude envelope. You got one right here. So let's um let's see if we can just get that release to happen here. So right now when I press the key, um since the stain is on, this is gonna turn into like a release. So that's what happens when I let go. Turn sustain off. When I let go of the key, it just stops. But now I can use this to create a decay. Um, so I can also add a, uh, filter envelope. I can open up a filter. Let's set it for a low pass filter. Change our cutoff like we did in the video. And then make a cutoff envelope. Let's add just like a little, I don't know why, but just a little bit of a attack. So right now I have the sound decaying right away, and I have the filter kind of starting low and ending high. And the uh, the last one we're gonna do is a frequency modifier. Uh, we're gonna make a, so we open up that frequency modifier that's gonna change the pitch, it's like a pitch envelope. And let's do a little attack on that. Um, Just sounds kind of cool. Um, there you go. So that's your basic overview of envelopes and how they function and how they work. And our last one, uh, which should be pretty short, is on the LFO, which we're seeing here. LFO, there's an LFO. Let's see where other LFOs are. Um, another LFO. LFOs are everywhere. So yeah, let's uh, please let me know if you have any questions. And I will see you in the next session.